What's going on, people? Today I'm going to show you how to cook Cajun ball crawfish like a pro. I'm going to walk you through these steps, but first we got to clean them. I'm going to show you how to clean and purge the crawfish, and that is a must. You got to clean and purge the crawfish before you do anything else. All right, let's do this. All right, to clean and purge the crawfish, put the crawfish in the basket. And then you're going to fill the pot up with tap water. About three quarter of the way with uh, just regular tap water. And then you're going to submerge the crawfish into the pot. Make sure the crawfish is completely submerged. You want to purge your crawfish, meaning you want to let them crawfish get it out of the system. Literally mean get that shit out of the system. AKA cold and cleansing, you know what I mean. Alright? It's very important you gotta clean them. You don't have to clean them with salt. You know, just cleaning them with top water is good enough. Okay, now you're gonna put your crawfish, the basket of crawfish, into that pot and let it completely submerge. If you need more water, just go and put some more in it. Ooh, give him a bath. Get that back in there. Oh, they don't look too happy. Oh, you got an escapee. All right, you want to make sure you clean them well. After all, they are mud bugs. They do live in the mud. You notice how dirty that water is? Yep. Just kind of raise it up a little bit. See that? Get yours back in there. You notice how dirty that water is? You're gonna do it three times. You're gonna do it, let it soak for 15 minutes and then Take it out, empty the pot, refill it with tap water, and do it again. You know what I mean? You're gonna let them uh, get it out of the system, literally. Ooh, what you got there? Where you think you're going, boy? Get your ass back in there. Yeah, go play with your friend. Right, you see how dirty that water is? That's just on the first try. Right there, look at that. Look how dirty that water is. Look at this one too. You see that? That's the reason why you need to clean and purge your crawfish. Where do you think you're going, boy? Get your ass back in there. Come here. You. Get your ass back in. Go play with your friend. You see that? Look how dirty that water is. On your third try, or even fourth, it should be clear. Let them soak for 15 minutes. Empty the pot, refill it with tap water, and repeat the process. Just let them do their thing. Keep your ass back in there. Remember guys, if you see any dead ones, you gotta throw them away. They are pretty much rotten once they are dead. You can't eat them you'll get sick. So, just remember, any dead ones or deal away, you gotta throw them away or use them as bait for fishing. All right? Where think you going? Not escapee. Just wanna show you how dirty that water is. This is just the first try, look at that. You can see the bottom, how muddy it is, and all that dirt and debris. Let me show you. Look at that. See that? That's the reason why you need to clean and purge your crawfish before you cook them. Okay, now I'm going to give them a, a second bath. Make sure they uh, clean themselves really well. And get that uh, shit out of the system.
Down she goes. See that? You notice how uh, still it's still muddy? Yep, you gotta repeat that process at least one or two more times before you can cook them. So uh, your crawfish won't taste kind of muddy, if you know what I mean. All right, if you want to bring your crawfish ball to another level, this is it right here. All right, you need one jar of Zaran dry seasoning. This is primarily your salt, salt lemon extract, and this is your aromatic. These two goes in hands in hand. You gotta have them. All right, and that is your liquid crab oil, anywhere from eight ounce or sixteen ounce. You know, this is here your uh, has your clove, bay leaves. Um, with a red chili pepper extract, those two you gotta have, right? Uh, you, got, uh, you need 10 bay leaves, two sticks of butter or margarine, your favorite brand of hot sauce, some garlic powder, cayenne pepper if you can stand the heat, about six orange cut in half, about eight lemon cut in half, about six to eight medium onion cut in halves and um, two stalks of celery and that is it right there and those are the ingredients to making a badass crawfish ball I guarantee you if you follow my recipe that will be one badass Cajun crawfish ball guarantee you they were coming back for more Boy, you're the feisty one, huh? Look at you. Not so bad after all. Throw your ass in the pot. Look at you. Boy, you better get your bail money. Come on. Come on. Do good. Come on. Put him up. Put him up. Weak sauce. Alright, guys. I got this pot here, 100 quart with 9 gallons of water. I got it coming to a rolling boil. I'm going to add in the seasoning now. First off, is the crab boil, dry seasoning.
potato for about 10 minutes. Turn off the 
Corona and add in the ice. The ice is gonna draw in all that flavor to the crawfish. Trust me. You might, you might want to add the rice. Now I'm going to add in the frozen corn. Shit, I think I need a bigger pot. Woo! You think? Man, look at that. Since the corn's already been pre-cooked, you're just gonna let it soak in all that flavor. All right, now I'm gonna add in the ice. The ice is going to draw in all that flavor into the crawfish. Trust me, you're going to thank me for it. It's so good. Alright, now I'm gonna add in the ice. What the ice is gonna do is gonna drop that temperature. But when that happens, that's it's gonna draw in all that flavor into the crawfish. That's gonna taste so damn good. All you gotta do is put it on top. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Nothing else. Just put it on top and let it melt. about 15 pound bag of ice. I got some leftover ice. That's right. Just let it melt. Put it on top and just let it melt. Now you're gonna set your timer. For 20 minutes and let it soak that's it after 20 minutes you can see all that crawfish sinking down to the bottom and that's where all that flavors in it's inside the crawfish now it's gonna be some good eating okay the 20 minutes is up now it's time to scoop those baby out notice those crawfish have sunk to the bottom it's pretty much drawn in all that flavor from the broth. Let me try this mushroom right here. Mmm. It's hot. Oh yeah. Look at that. All that goodness.
just want to show you guys. Look at that. Does that shit look good? Mm mm. Look at that piece of sausage. Does that shit look good or what? Man. I got some boiled crawfish, boiled shrimp, sausage, some corn. Right on Memorial Day. Yes, sir. About to go down. Alright, let's scoop this up. Everybody's hungry. Y'all hungry? Oh yeah, look at that. Man, does that look good or what? Look at that. That's right, Instagram. Have it, guys. That's how you boil KG crawfish like a pro. With the ice method, all that flavor is drawn to the crawfish, and your crawfish is gonna be even more flavorful and tasty. I guarantee you. Look at those crawfish bailing out. Yeah. Look at that. Where do you think you're going? Shit, you better get your bail money. Come on, get your ass back here. Boy. Look at those. Look at that. Oh, you want to put up a fight, huh? your ass. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit. Ow! Fuck! Damn it. <laughs> 